What's up guys, doing a deck profile for the Polaris Great Nature deck. Alright, let's get started. Well, what's your starter? My parrot. That's fair, what's he do? Basically, you put him to soul, a card that's gonna be retired. You choose as target, and once you tied, you get a draw one card. Alright, it's pretty good. 5k booster, pioneer effect. Alright. Triggers, 4 heal. 4 heal, flip him. Flip. Four heal triggers, of course. Basic. What else? Eight crit. Eight crits. This critical trigger has a fat, like a hamster. Yeah. You get another copy from the deck. Yep. Mostly, you never want to do it, but if you're desperate, that's what you can do. Yeah. But depends on the situation. But mostly never. Yep, never. Hopefully. The four best draw triggers for the deck? My Little Pony. <laughs> it's a Margot clone. So, you can put in the soul. Uh, one of your great answers gets plus 3,000. Basically helps you get over, like, making your opponent guard for an extra 5 or 10 based on the situation. Yeah. That's up for triggers. MVP of the grade ones, Lucky Duck. Yep. He's just like Parrot. He lets me get choose a target that's going to be tied, and when I call this tied, I get a draw card. So yeah. I can pay and the, the effects stack. Yeah, you can stack the effects, which makes the clan so good. <laughs> so basically, you could draw up to like five cards or four cards in one turn. It's, yeah. It's pretty OP. Okay. Two AK Vanillas. Yeah. Three Hamster. Three Hamsters. Like the commi like that critical trick I mentioned earlier. He once he's retired, Cannon Blast, get another copy to death. Yeah, when they're retired by effects, Cannon Blast 1, search for another copy added to your hand. Four Perfect God. Yep. Four. Just basic. Yes. Three 10k vanillas. Pandas. With a globe on them. <laughs> Three ti binocular tiger. Yeah. I would run four, but I don't have one right now. Yeah. But it's still OP without it. It's, it's a really good card. When it attacks, one of your great natures gets plus 4,000. And uh, when it dies, it dies during the end phase. Yeah, but you could also use cards that counter blast. Yeah, all your whole deck basically works like that. You draw cards when they die. Basically, this is one of the cards that you tie cards so you could draw cards from the lucky deck and parrots. Yeah. For Hamske, the grade 2 version. It's just, yeah, the grade 1 version of the card. If you Same can, thing. If you can, you probably want to take out, take out one of him for another one of him. Yeah. Two compass line. It's a grade two 11,000 attack. And it retires one card at the end phase. A number card that can retire a card so you can draw cards like yeah. a boss. Grade threes. Two monocular tiger. He's a 12k attacker. Wait, that's a crocodile. Yeah, the crocodile, yeah. my bad. He, when he attacks the Vanguard, he gets an extra 2k, so he could attack those 11k Vanguards. Yeah. And now... To Leopold. As your backup Vanguard? Yeah, he, he's still good. Like, even without Limit Break, when you attack, you give an extra unit 4k attack. Yeah, so without Limit Break, uh, one of your rear guards gets plus 4,000. And it's tied to end phase, and I'm called that retires. Yeah. His Limit Break is Counter Blast 1, and uh, the card that's, that's retired, retired, you get to bring it back to the field. Yeah, so it's really good backup. With one cattle blast only. Yeah. It's good. Main Vanguard. Main card for the deck that makes the deck awesome. For Polaris. Polaris. Alright, explain what he does. Okay, like when one of your units already attacks, when he attacks, he doesn't have to hit. You could Counter Blast 2, Limit Break, stand it back up with additional 4k. Yeah, so that's. You can use this effect twice every game. Pretty easy. Combat 2, gets, one of your units gets plus 4 and he stands back up. And his other effect is when he attacks the Vanguard, it gets plus 3000. 
So you need a 7K or 8K booster to make it 21, 20. So it's a really good card. All right, show them your perfect formation. That wins you games. It's a really good clan. It's uh, under underrated. And it's a really cheap deck to make. This is a pretty good field. This when this card attacks, it gets an additional three k power. Yeah. So like this will be swing for twenty. Yeah. Or but you, you, you would attack with this first. Yes. So you attack with twelve first. Yes. And then twenty one or twenty. So twenty one limit break stands back up four k. So he's at sixteen by himself now, without triggers. Yes. So if you get triggers, you can put it there or there. But uh. You would probably attack with this. So basically, so give an extra four thousand. Basically, this attacks first to Van Vanguard. It gets four thousand when it attacks to Vanguard. Additional four K here. Yeah, and then sixteen attacks. Sixteen. Twenty one. Then additional four K. And then limit break stands back up. So he's at uh. Twenty eight. Yeah. Without triggers. Twenty eight without triggers. That's your fourth attack. That's pretty good. It's more consistent than Aqua Force. So uh, check this deck out, guys. It's a really good cheap deck. Thanks for watching.